We are here in the art room with Miss Varaya. Hey, Sorella Nation. And uh, I want to ask you a few questions first before we get going. Uh, how did you get started at Maywood? Um, I've been here for seven years, and uh, I filled out an application for an art teacher position, and Maywood hired me. Yeah, was that your first uh, teaching job? Uh huh. Yeah. So I've been looking around yeah. your art room, and I've been seeing things that I would not expect to see in an art room. Like, what in the world do you do with hammers in an art room? Um, well, right now, we are using these uh, with my sixth graders in exploratory art, and we are learning about negative space, which is the area around objects. Uh, we are using it to trace things, uh, to identify where the negative space is. And then I got started on this one uh, to fill in the negative space around the objects. These things right here, what are these? Uh, these are called T-squares, and these are a tool uh, that architects and contractors use for drafting. And the reason that we have them out right now is because we are uh, building houses in my sculpture class. One last thing that I don't even have a clue why you would have it here. This right here. Uh -huh. Tell me you make good smoothies. We make really good smoothies. We make paper smoothies, which is why I have this in here. Um, if you put leftover paper and water together, uh, you can make a paper pulp. A paper pulp, if you put it on something that uh, can strain it, we use silk screen screens. You can make your own paper. All right, Sorella Nation. Hey, it's time for another By the Numbers. And this is Mr. Wessel, if you haven't had him before. Hey, Mr. Wessel, how you doing? I'm doing great, Mr. C. How are you? I'm really well. Hey, this is a pretty cool room. Most people, I bet, haven't even seen it before. What do you got in here that might uh, interest those students who've not been in here? Well, you know, in, in my room, it's all about tech and engineering. Uh, we have 35 workstations in the room. We have one laser cutter. The laser cutter is used to cut 2D materials. So Dude. here's a couple of 3D printers. Nice. This one is red and black. We have six 3D printers in the room. They get used by students for a various number of projects in my design and modeling elective. We got storage and projects for 12 robotics kits. Yeah. And that's a claw bot. That's I like it. Remote controlled operated claw bot. We have a couple of assembly lines. This is all for my uh, automation robotics elective. So how long have you been teaching at Maywood? You know, I came to Maywood 13 years ago because my, my own children went to Maywood and I wanted to be here when they were here. You know? Hey, are you ready to do By the Numbers? Give me By the Numbers. Yeah, I'm ready for that. Let's do it. Are you ready to play By the Numbers? Absolutely. Uh, favorite medium for an art project? Uh, acrylic paint. Mobile device or computers? Oh, I'm totally a PC person. What's your favorite elective class when you were in middle school? Leadership. Uh, my favorite elective class when I was in middle school was art. Because when I went to middle school, we didn't have technology electives. What's your favorite pair of complementary colors? Oh, that's easy. Go Huskies, yellow and violet. You'd rather have a top of the line camera or the top of the line 3D printer? Uh, top of the line camera, no doubt. How old were you when you knew you wanted to be a tech teacher? I was 26 years old. How old were you when you knew you wanted to be an art teacher? I kind of fell into it uh, in my early 20s, so 23, 24? DVD or VCR? Oh, uh, DVD all the way. Would you rather paint a landscape with watercolors or do a perspective drawing with a pencil? Perspective drawing, get to use a ruler. Apple or Windows? I'm a Windows guy. I have an Android phone. I don't use an iPhone. Too overpriced for me. Favorite century for art? 18th century. Who, who's your favorite uh, artist in the 18th century? Caravaggio. Never heard of him. <laughs> uh, surround sound or perspective headphones? This oh, is from a student. Oh, surround sound all the way. I'm a music person. I want the full sound. When was the last time you used math in one of your classes? Uh, about 20 minutes ago. We had to measure out this drawing right here on the board with dimensioning and figure out spacing and how to actually model a, a part of a toy. Oh. Right now, we're doing uh, gridding. We are scaling hands to be twice as big. Look at that. Yeah. What was your go-to technology when you were in seventh grade? 
Oh, when I was in seventh grade, the go-to technology was a player. cassette player. Uh, that's, that's it. We're the same age, aren't we? Yeah. Would you rather have your hands dirty with clay or be holding a brush dripping with paint? Definitely paintbrush. I do not like how clay dries out your hands. It grosses huh? me out. What's the coolest thing you've learned in your years of teaching technology? Young people are smarter than you think they are when it comes to solving problems. What advice do you have for students wanting to become teachers? Um, probably the most important thing when you're a teacher is flexibility. You just have to kind of sometimes go with the flow. You don't know what you're going to get despite your best plans and efforts. Don't think you're ever going to be rich. Be happy with life and with helping people. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, or three little pigs? Uh, one fish, two fish. I'm a Dr. Seuss kind of gal. My favorite children's book was Go Dog Go. But if I had to choose between one fish, two fish, or three little pigs, it's obviously one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Fortnite or Minecraft? Fortnite or Minecraft? Yeah. What's your preference? Neither, but I guess Minecraft, because that's the one I'm a little bit more familiar with. Rock Band. Rock Band! Absolutely. Confession from Mr. Wessel. I've never played Minecraft or Fortnite. There you go. Thanks for doing, uh, what is this called? By the Numbers. Yeah, thanks for doing By the Numbers. Of course, by Sorella Nation.